My name is Jamila Abbas. I'm the founder and CEO of MFarm Limited. It's a commodity exchange company that helps rural farmers in rural Kenya connect with the urban market. If I ask you to close your eyes and imagine the lives of a smallholder farmer in rural Africa, you will probably come up with images like this. The agricultural supply chain in Kenya is really long, inefficient, and very painful. And this is due to the fragmented nature of the farming community in Kenya, where farmers have really small parcels of land and they produce really low volumes that are not interesting enough for big buyers to come and buy from them directly. So what happens in the market is that there's so many multiple players between the farmers and the market itself to the extent that the farmers receive a third or less worth the, vol the, the value of the crops that they are selling. In so many cases, farmers grow produce without knowing what the market really needs and also without knowing whether they'll ever get to sell or how much it's going to go for. The number one cause of this problem is, as usual, the information gap that exists in the farming communities. And farmers and buyers are living in two different or parallel planes where the farmers are existing in an informal plane and the buyers are existing in a formal plan, and they usually don't get to talk to each other. The, the farmers do not say, this is what I have, or this is what I could potentially produce for you to come and buy from me, and the buyers do not ask the farmers what they, what they could grow for them. So there's that big disconnect between the two players in the market, therefore making the whole supply chain inefficient. Late 2010, my co-founders and I started on a journey to change the narrative of these images that you're seeing from the African rural farmer. And we came up with a novel idea which was very simple. Bridge the information gap between the farmers and the buyers and get them to talk. Give the farmers accurate, reliable, and actionable information. And the key word here is actionable. Underline it, italicize it, bold it, write it in big, big, big fonts. Because information has to be actionable for it to make sense for the farmers who are going to benefit from it. If you look at history, the agrarian revolution and also the green revolution in Asia happened at a time when sharing instant information was not possible. Yesterday, you had a lot of speakers talking about how the, the, the power of sharing information instantly and how it can have an impact on people's lives. Today, many people are following from around the globe what is happening and the discussions that we are having in this group. The African Green Revolution is happening at a time when even the poorest of the farmer can afford a mobile phone and they can access information right on the mobile phone. With MFARM, we leverage on this trend and this infrastructure that is existing, giving the farmers information on, with one text, they can find out what the prices are in different markets in the country. They can find out what the farmers, what the buyers, I mean, need in advance and grow for, the, what, for what the market needs. At the same time, we make the farmers talk to each other, connecting a virtual cooperative so that they can combine the produce that they're selling and benefit from collective action, take it to the market. And lastly, farmers get tips and advice from fellow farmers and agricultural experts on their mobile phones with simple text. 
Now, initially we set up MFAM coming from a technology background, thinking we're setting up a really cool technology and every farmer in Africa that gets to use this will get out of poverty. But that was not real. We came to our second part of the journey that we had as founders, whereby we realized after making the farmers and the buyers talk to each other and a buyer says, I need this, what happens next? How does the produce move from one place to the other? What happens when an order is placed? Before I answer that question, I want to bring your attention to this image. As you can see, I, no offense to Kenya or to Africa at all, but as you can see from this image, Kenya is in the 1900s logistics wise. How do you build an e-commerce system or an application to make a supply chain that is already broken logistically to become efficient? And then the real question for us as founders then became, how do we merge the 19th century with the 21st century? And that took us here. We moved from being an information provider simply to provide information for farmers and buyers to start talking and talk to each other to a point where we had to become a full-fledged fulfillment company that bridges not only the financial gap that we have in the supply chain, but also um, the logistical gap that we have in the supply chain. Now, if you ask me, I would say I don't have the luxury of having a third party logistics company like UPS, UPS and DHL that everybody else and the giant e-commerce platforms are really used to. My logistical world are composed of the little pretty donkey that you have seen and other informal players in the market to make sure that we are capable of collecting produce from each and every smallholder farmer, bulking it, making it attractive for buyers to come and take it from our collection centers. With all these challenges, MFARM remains the number one ag tech company in Africa with over 22,000 clients. We might not be able to solve all the problems the farmers have and solve the problems for each and every farmer, but what we have been able to do is provide a holistic solution from the time of planting to the time of selling and taking it to the market. One text at a time, one farmer at a time. Thank you. Want to be in the audience next time? Click here for tickets to InspireFest 2017.